When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. Next up, we have the most feature-packed model. Number 5. Sonos Beam Before even starting, I want to say that every TV needs a soundbar since they do not provide a proper sound performance overall. And we're going to start this list with a soundbar that delivers an immense amount of features, the Sonos Beam, which is pretty much exceptional. This beast has some interesting smart technologies, tons of connectivity, and has a pretty great price overall, which has attracted a lot of people to buy this one. Let's take a closer look at it. I can simply describe it as a pretty long black pill-shaped thing, and I can say it's a bit smaller than other soundbars out there. However, despite being small, it has tons of internal components packed in it, including four woofers and a tweeter that delivers a wide and full soundstage. The design and aesthetics of the Sonos Beam are pretty minimal, and I can say it's one of the most beautiful out there. The top is packed with touch-sensitive controls, and overall I can say the Sonos Beam blends into the design of your room quite excellently. The Sonos Beam can be connected to your TV with HDMI ARC or digital optical audio, however you can connect it to your Wi-Fi network for internet streaming songs and connecting it with other Sonos speakers in your house if you have them. I should also mention that the Sonos Beam has Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant integrated and it's pretty responsive to your commands even in larger rooms. This is one of my favourite features since it's very convenient. And on top of that, you have the Google Assistant integrated if you prefer to use that. I have to be honest that just by looking at it you wouldn't expect to have such a powerful performance, but surprisingly the soundstage was quite wide. I like the balance between the highs, mids and lows, and the sound quality was on par with some high-end soundbars out there. The sub bass was pretty impressive, it resonates perfectly with a super clean sound. The wide sound stage enhances the immersive experience when listening to music or watching movies. The vocals were also quite good and stringed instruments are just about perfect. The highs are a bit more aggressive, but nothing that would make it annoying. For a mid-sized room, these were an excellent option. Perfect overall, especially for the price. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 4. Samsung Harman Kardon 5.1.2 The Samsung Harman Kardon 5.1.2 is one of the most powerful soundbars you can buy these days, and it's the best mid to high range option out there. While the name has 5.1.2, it isn't a true one, but I don't think anyone would notice the difference between this one and the real deal. Performance, power and so much more, without forgetting it comes with a subwoofer, meaning you can have a perfect setup going on from the get-go. Right from the unboxing, you'll see that the Samsung Harman Kardon 5.1.2 is a serious piece of tech. There's no messing around with this one. Both the subwoofer and the sound bar are pretty heavy and substantial. Speaking about the sub, it has a pretty adequate design that might not be the most attractive, but it is quite good overall with its black body with rounded corners. It has a large 8-inch side-firing driver that's perfect overall and has an airflow port to keep the low-frequency sounds moving. The sound bar itself is pretty attractive overall though, at least compared with the subwoofer, and again you wouldn't expect anything less from Samsung. It has some nice touches on its edges providing a beautiful look overall, nothing to complain about here. Since we're at it, I should mention that the Samsung Harman Kardon 5.1.2 is pretty long and I have to say it provides a beautiful build quality. Moving on, I should mention that this is an up and side firing speaker, meaning you'll have to think a bit about its placement. The grille on the front is pretty solid overall and the included remote control is arched and pretty intuitive overall. The total audio power of the Samsung Harman Kardon 5.1.2 is about 372 watts and it comes on the 13 drivers in the 5.1.2 channel setup. Arranged perfectly by Harman Kardon to provide powerful performance with a wide soundstage. It also has some amazing features such as the adaptive sound and the smart sound feature that provide a great performance. The game sound mode works well and I can say you get a near perfect system right here from Samsung. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 3. Yamaha YAS109 For those that are always looking to get the best value for their hard earned money, I would like to suggest the Yamaha YAS109 which will bring you the best bang for your buck. This beat has some interesting features and a powerful performance such as the Alexa Voice Assistant, Spotify Connect, Wi-Fi and some excellent sound modes that'll make this one a proper party rocker. The Yamaha YAS109 is something to be reckoned with, let's check it out. 
One thing I can say about the Yamaha YAS109 is that it has a perfect design that's very well thought out, without many details, but a minimal vibe that'll fit in everywhere. I like this beast a lot. I should mention that a soundbar is placed under the TV most of the time, and a flashy design doesn't make a good impression in 99% of the cases. The cloth-covered Yamaha YAS109 will beautifully blend into the environment. Taking a closer look at the Yamaha YAS109, you'll see that it has volume controls, source selection, digital surround sound, and a clear voice feature. Since we're at it, I should state that the aforementioned feature allows you to have a better sound performance to hear spoken words. Right up there, you'll also see the Amazon Alexa voice assistant button. However, you don't need it as you can do it with the wake word. It has two microphones located in the body that provide a pleasant performance. I should state that it's pretty simple overall and delivers a pleasant experience. The built-in Alexa, though, is my favourite, and when you combine it with a Spotify Connect feature, you'll have some fun with it. Connectivity is done via the HDMI ARC port, and there's a second HDMI port for different devices, such as consoles or something of a similar nature. There are some excellent audio features, such as the Dolby Pro Logic 2, the DTS Digital Surround, and the DTS Virtual Technology that elevate the sound performance to a whole new level. I should state that the sound stage is quite wide, and if you find yourself a nice subwoofer, you'll get yourself a perfect setup for a great price. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Bose Soundbar 700 The runner-up on this list is the Bose Soundbar 700, which delivers us everything you could want from a soundbar. This one looks pretty cool, sounds amazing, has tons of smart features, and provides a great sound stage. The price is right as well, and I don't think anyone doubts Bose by now. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at it. In terms of design and looks, the Bose Soundbar 700 is one of the best ones out there with its high-end design. The style and aesthetics of this cabinet are just amazing. It's wrapped around with an aluminium grille and a perfect tempered glass on top that's a great touch on it. You can get the device in a glossy black and arctic white, which is great for finding out what works for you. However, I should mention that the Bose Soundbar 700's glass top is a fingerprint magnet, and it also reflects light, so if you place it right underside the TV, it's a double-edged sword. The whole thing measures about 38.5 by 2.25 by 4.25 inches, meaning it's good enough for most TVs. The Bose Soundbar 700 has its connectivity ports on the back of the device, and they're plenty. The ports include HDMI, optical digital input, Ethernet port, and a micro USB port for service and updates in the first recess. In the other one, you'll spot 3.5mm jacks for subwoofers, data, IR extender, and adapt IQ. The single HDMI output port supports eARC for better performance. The Bose Soundbar 700 supports Wi-Fi connectivity, AirPlay 2, and Bluetooth. In the package of the Bose Soundbar 700, you'll also spot a well-made universal remote control with metal construction. The Bose Soundbar 700 has millions of features in the package, most importantly the Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant to allow you easy operation. You'll have to download the Bose app to your smartphone to activate its full capabilities. The sound performance of this beast comes from four mid-range drivers with the Phase Guide technology to provide a great experience. The Adapt IQ technology also provides a great effect by analysing the sound in the room to adjust the sound to your needs. Bose has done one heck of a job with this one. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra On top of the list, we have the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra, which is the perfect system for those that are looking for an all-in-one soundbar system with dual subwoofers and four satellite speakers. It's pretty easy to assemble and delivers a beautiful performance. However, it's pretty expensive. Then again, you are paying for 18 different drivers for a super immersive experience. Let's check it out. The first impression you'll get from the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra is not one of a high-end device, as they're designed to be unassuming and low-key. The soundbar itself has a pretty unique shape that's pretty much beautiful in my opinion, and in addition to that, it's packed with six 2.5-inch full-range drivers and two beautiful surround effects 1-inch large tweeters that bounce the sound around for a better experience. The whole thing is 45.5 inches long, so it's better to accommodate it with larger TVs. The subwoofers in the package are wireless, and each one is packed with a 10-inch downward-facing driver to provide a deep performance. Moving on to complete the package, there are four satellite speakers in the package, each of them packed with a 3-inch full-range driver and a 1-inch large high-frequency tweeter. The remote control of the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra is just perfect, as it includes every button to control this beast of a system. The sound support is pretty advanced, for example, it has Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, DTS X, DTS HD Master Audio, DTS HD, and DTS Digital Surround, which is all that there is, to be honest. 
There's also video pass-through in the soundbar to make it compatible with Dolby Vision and 4K HDR. Nakamichi brand has become one of the best bets when it comes to audio files thanks to their performance, and the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra doesn't disappoint either. It definitely delivers a perfect sound experience with tons of space, separation and distinction. It's just beautiful, and you'll see what you've missed. Well worth its high price tag. Buying Guide Firstly, size. Soundbars like every tech device these days come in different shapes and sizes. There's a size for everyone here, some just a foot long, others larger than most TVs out there. Of course, with a larger size, there comes a higher price, which means that we should steer away from them for this list. But even if you can afford a larger soundbar, don't go for those larger than your actual TV, because first, it'll look bad, and sound won't be proportionate. So, it's not always wiser to buy the biggest soundbar that you can. Buy something rather that fits your needs, room, and TV. There are some charts out there that act as guides you can follow. And secondly, smart features. In the past, soundbars and speakers were just sound devices. However, in the last few years, smart technologies are everywhere thanks to the advanced software, and now even your soundbar might have an OS and voice assistant to help you out in your daily tasks. For those that aren't used to it, I suggest you start using your favorite voice assistant right now. There are different voice assistants available in soundbars such as Alexa and Google Assistant, but then again, in the budget range, there might be some options that lack this feature. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.